Hello everyone, my name is Josh, aka the Biscuit Eater, and I wanted to welcome you all to the fourth episode of my long-form Let's Play of Control by Remedy Games. Now, if this is your first time of the series, basically what this is is a little bit of a third-person shooter slash puzzle platformer slash story rich uh, game where you take the part of a woman who's looking for her missing brother in a building that appears to be stuck in between worlds. So a little bit of creepypasta, a little bit of extra dimension, a little bit of X-Files, you name it. Now, if this is your first time with the series, do know that there is a link to the playlist in the description down below. And this is actually a pre-recorded series that I do on my streaming channel on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash The Biscuit Eater. I Twitch control every Monday, at least currently, from 7.30 p.m. until 10 p.m. Pacific Time. Now, with that all said, let's go ahead and get into the story. First, let's cue the intro. All I need is me, myself, from that. Sometimes I wish I was somebody else. I was somebody else. I got my own way. Don't care what you say. All right, welcome YouTube folks. It's time to get started with our new episode. And hello there, our Nissles. Appreciate you having here. Is that Nissles or it is Nissles, not Missiles? Okay, welcome. Happy to have you. Right. Okay, not red. That's good. Uh, this looks ominous, though. This looks very ominous. Oh, it is missiles. It's just... Okay, missiles! Hey, that works. <laughs> Boss fight. Knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. May call me a high, uh, maybe a bit of a coward here, but oh, ow, ow, that hurt. Make sure, there's nobody around me. Oh, I knew it. Okay. I was hoping to get at least a little bit of a... That uh, was a good try, I think. Oh! At the wrong time. Oh well. <laughs> We'll get to try that again. I got him down to half health, or, eh, I don't know. I actually didn't see what the health bar was at. I think I was doing decently there. I still have to do a little more uh, movement. I was just trying to keep behind cover. Not a lot of cover given. Yes, welcome to the party, Missiles. I appreciate you having you here. I what, Captain Fid? Okay, got to half, yeah. Alright, let's do this.
Ah. Not fair. Who's shooting at me from where? Okay. Oh, dang it. Oh, trying to go for the ah, trying to go for the hill. This is the reason why I marked this a beginner stream, because <laughs> I am, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a casual, filthy casual. Yeah. Okay, so, definitely, seems at least getting that critical on his head does help a little bit, but I gotta, it's, it's the ads that are making it difficult for me, I think. Gun's not doing much damage to him. I'm down to half. Oh, that was close. There we go. Obviously, you didn't defeat him yet, but That's, I'll still take that as a win. I have a feeling he'll be back. Yeah, I think you're right. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mail room. Okay, do a little bit of reconnaissance. Make sure there's not anything I can read or collect here. Yeah, that was that was a little intense there. Ah, something to read. Tea time. Better be able to control. Hey Malcolm. Yes, tea time is at seven. I'll see you at the chorus on Sunday morning. By the way, have you heard about this Tennyson report? Apparently there's a bunch of copies drifting around the office. Trent is looking to get his hands on any information about who wrote it. You wouldn't happen to have heard anything about that, would you? See you Sunday. 
Tennyson report. Got another unread. Did I? Okay. Tennyson report. Yeah. T. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, something's going on here. Tennyson report. We have anything that's called the Tennyson Report? No, so maybe we'll get that later. Research and records. Is elevated. Ah, something new there. Is elevated agents display abilities similar to telekinetic com competencies observed in bureau para utilitarians. Some prefer to ch charge their targets, while others launch objects at them. Telekinetic attacks have been in ineffective against the Hiss elevated due to their own talent in the area. They do not use any weaponry except their own paranatural capabilities. Okay, so telekinetic attacks wouldn't... Okay, so I was wasting my time with the telekinetics. Uh, they do not use any weaponry except for their own parana paranatural capabilities. Some, is some hiss elevated have been seen levitating while strapped into chairs. This is likely the result of individuals being corrupted while undergoing cognitive recording in parapsychology. How are they able to use paranatural abilities? It's possible these individuals were bound to objects of power prior to corruption. It's also worth considering that the Hiss resonance can identify and express latent paranatural ability in the individuals as crux. Refer to file redacted for full report. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, exactly, missiles. Now they tell us. <laughs> exactly. But of course they're going to wait until after the fight to tell us. That's only uh, right and proper, right? Okay. Anything over here? Seeing anything? How rude! Just the one reading. Just, yes, just the one bit. Okay. Let's go upstairs. See what we got here. Obviously, we've got the exit over there that he went through, but or is this the one he went through? For sure, that was over there. Actually, what, what, uh... What is math, not... Hitting M. Or is it tab? Oh, it's tab for math. Too many games I'm playing right now. Okay, so... Yeah, so I wouldn't be going... To... Okay, so this is just opening up the other place where I was at. If I wanted to save at the uh, at the control point, okay, that's fair. So good to have that open. Okay, where is that music coming from? In this game music is a little bit unnerving. Hey, listen. Yeah, now will be the first try when I meet up again, Cap. Yeah, sure. Sure I will. <laughs> okay, I'm not seeing any indication where that music is coming from. A map that opens shortcuts? What do you mean? Okay, those sounds are <laughs> creeping me out. Where are those sounds coming from? Ah! Butte Summary. Event Summary. A spate of disappearances was traced to a home in the city of Butte, where Bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity located at Redacted, which had been connected to a total of redacted disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. 
Both agents were discovered at the oldest house, redacted days later, found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. The light switch cord in the Butte's home closet disappeared during this incident. The landscape opens shortcuts to previous to previous area. Not the best joke. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, sorry I didn't get it. All right, let's go. All right, there's our objective. Okay, you guys are hearing that hissing noise, right? Sounds like breathing. Roberto Tomasi, head of comms. Oh, Tomasi's ID. Hey. I can't can't zoom in on it. Come on. <laughs> yeah, missiles called out your lie right there, there boy. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff of the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear. The most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged our cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds of all that having to show up inside a U.S. embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Are you still recording this? <laughs> okay, now I get it. Those go into the... These are letter carriers. It's, it's, it's va These are vacuum letter carriers. Okay. Vacuum tubes. Got it, got it, got it. Now I'm understanding the noise. The hotline can't be far now. You say that. The moment you said that, you just increased our, our playtime by at least 30 seconds. 30 minutes, man. It's not cool. Not cool. <laughs> you're right. Okay, okay. Uh, missiles, are you secretly Markiplier? Is that what you're trying to suggest? Hotline Chamber. I'm going to have to make the dad joke because Captain Fitz here. Hotline, hotline bling, bling, right? Oh, another mute supplement. Supplement. According to their testimony, the agents had been transported from the Butte home to a roadside motel named the Ocean View Motel and Casino. That was mentioned in an earlier... Uh, like there was a guy who was looking for the Ocean View Motel. And discovered a room key by performing a ritual. See file MOT-01. The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. After pulling another motel cord found inside the room, they were transported to the oldest house. The disappearances of the home's owner and other locals of Butte have been attributed to the light switch cord. The Ocean View Motel is now known to ha have many doors and pathways. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in the Butte home have been appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, redacted light cords have been found in the oldest house, located in the redacted and redacted sectors. These all access the Ocean View Motel, though how exactly the link operates is redacted. But initial hypothes hypotheses center on the Butte AWE as a redacted. The Dr. Darling presentation 24.3 for more detail. Maybe you're not. I, I, I. I, I get you missiles, and of, you are so not above such puns, Captain. You are recorded with such puns. Just last week. Okay, and yes. <laughs> All right, and more. Hotline security log. Okay, Director Lynch. Bill, okay, so Bill Everett, which is the uh, custodian that we met at the very beginning of the game, has access to the hotline. And Carol Bishop, who is Carol? Another. Or actually, that's, that's me, isn't it? Isn't it? Aren't I Carol Bishop? I can't remember my character's name now. That's okay. And 
There was, I saw media. Oh, hey, we got new weapon mods. Anything fun? Oh, food. Okay, so we don't have nothing there. We have more health boost. 60, I'm using 18. Okay. And launch energy. Okay. So definitely want to add that once I get uh, more slot. Okay, I'm Jesse. I thought so. Thank you. So. Okay, who is, Car who is Carol then? My memory. Is there a dramatis persona in the collectibles? Yeah, we'll find out, I'm sure. I just see Faden, exactly. I remember who Carol is, then. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream Logic. The Light Switch Court. Door marked with the Black Pyramid. Hey, that's a big, massive, nasty drop. So let's see what happens when we pull the corn. Um, okay. Stand here. Find the gap. Hero <laughs> Bishop's identity is still being debated. Okay, so we don't know who she is yet. What happens if I go back? I'm not going to jump down because I know that'll. I'm, I'm sure that'll kill me. So let's pull the cord again. Well, that's what it was before. Whoa. Have we been here before? Okay. <laughs> yes. I've stayed at a lot of roadside thought... motels across the country on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like. All of them, like something recognized from a dream. Let's see. Is, I I see that, and all I can think of, damn it, Coral. Get back in the in the bar, or get back in the farmhouse. Now imagine if the hotline had a marimba ringtone. Oh gosh, I'm very thankful it's an old-fashioned one. And cool cats and kittens. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. We've got black root black is locked. Okay, so that's this looks okay, so we've got one that can be interacted with here. That one can't. This one can't. This one can't. Okay, so okay, we'll, we'll mess with that with a moment. First I want to see two 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 can't be interacted with. Two two three can't be interacted with. Can't be interacted with. A lot of doors I can't do anything with. Okay, then. Well, we've got a door with a black pyramid. And we've got a bell we can ring. So... I'm sure we can't go out the door. Nor can we see out the door. Hello? Anyone here? Door opened. It looks like... Okay, that... Sunlight wasn't there before. You don't have a black pyramid on you. Okay, nothing to interact with here. Let's check the other. Okay, no. Nope. Okay. Doesn't look to be any like anything. Okay, I'm not gonna pull the cord again. It did say ritual, so let's see what happens if we... Okay, that's a different door. Or is it? No, it is. It is, because it was listed at this one last time.
That <laughs> still can't go through the door. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, that's not ominous at all. Oh, there's something I can interact with. The key has a black pyramid on it. Gotcha. That'll unlock it. Room service, want me to fluff your pillow? <laughs> yeah, no, no. Captain Fed, that's perfectly fine. See what happens if I do this. If we'll... Okay, how about over here? Anything open? Just testing. Okay, nope. Alright. Well, at least I got a key to the uh, Black Pyramid Room. With its own pull cord. And a bridge. Yeah, the service is definitely terrible. That's for sure. Let's see, can I... Can't... I can't use my telekinesis in here. Interesting. That didn't do anything. And the cord is... Or the cord isn't interactable again. You know? oh, well, I had to pull the other cord twice. Let's make sure, see if that makes a difference here. Okay. Yeah, no bars. No bars for service. Okay, something happened. It's in the recording that they pulled it three times. Well, oh. Okay then, it did. <laughs> uh, that's my just my VPN reconnecting. Sorry about that. Okay. The hotline seashell is a transmitter bridge. Directors can call the board long distance. Another astral plane challenge. Yes, you did help, Captain Fid. Thank you. And it's on video, no less. Which means it's now a record of you not being a bad boy. The hotline will allow you to contact extra dimensional entities. Oh, that doesn't look good. I probably can guess I don't want that to interact with me. Okay, shooting it did not help. How about throwing something at it? Didn't do a darn thing. Helping negates all the teasing? No, not at all. Not at all. That'll forever stain your soul. Uh, yeah, it's coming after me, and I don't think I want it to. Will it follow me over the ledge? What will happen if you... What will happen to your bad boy persona? Oh, oh wait, no. Okay, I helped. Helping negates all the teasing, I'm sure. Hug it. Yeah, no, I don't want to hug it. I do not want to hug it. Okay. That's another one. Run, 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 run. Eek! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Ah! Okay. Whew. Ah. They immediately tried to sabotage after helping. Gotta stay consistent. Indeed, Captain. Okie dokie. After all that, watch me completely gaff this. Okay, woo! Well done, dialed, director. You can contact us past selves. 
in the hotline collectibles menu. We expect compulsive weekly calls. Rustic Ba. Yeah. Don't quite catch that. I'm sorry. Is my nerd cred going to be uh, reduced as a result? It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. I'm in too deep, she says. Or he, they, I shouldn't assume. They can't the lose points, or he can't team. lose points. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Oh, good. I still apologize for assuming that was bad. That's not healthy. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. But we've got new things we can do. Collectible. Case file. Okay. Hotline. Hotline 00P3-UE. Containment procedure. Object should be inaccessible for use except to the director. Description. Para utility. Object is a 1960s era red bake light telephone. Rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob of unknown purpose. Phone weighs redacted. The object allows the director to communicate with the redacted. If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal redacted. A Dr. Darling presentation 11.6 for more information. The object is currently bound to director trench. Background. The object spontaneously manifested in the director's office, placed on the desk. Director Northmore was the first known bureau agent to use it. A battery of tests were run on the object, including redacted and redacted, but its origin remains unknown. Okay. Another multimedia, which is object power, hotline, property. Okay, so we've gone through all those. Number to dial to activate cheat codes is redacted. Indeed, but we're not using cheat codes. Hotline. Let's see what the direct. We, we, so, control points we are. Oh. These are all new, I think. Control points. It took us a long time to learn how to stabilize the control points, the ley lines, the meridians of the oldest house. Darling found a way to soothe this beast. We discovered we must cleanse control points of all interference. It's my duty as the director, like Northmore before me. I couldn't manage it in my own house, at my home. I'll damn well do it here. Without the control points, the oldest house would swallow us alive. We'd be sealed inside in an endless labyrinth. No one would hear our screams. If an enemy ever managed to corrupt the control points, it'd be over fast, spreading like a cancer, leaping over the firebreaks like a crown of fire. They are the weak point. Darling was right. <coughs> Pardon me. He's wrong about everything else. Dangerously wrong. Suspiciously wrong. Has he been compromised? Yeah, so yes. To read off what went on while I was listening to that. So, the, the secret formula is redacted. The path to happiness is redacted. Hee hee hee. Duty. Really? <laughs> Missiles? Fun. Okay, so. Hotline. I can hear the hotline ringing in my dreams. Constantly ringing. 
ringing so loud I can't hear the voice I'm straining to understand. Why don't I pick up? It's a secure line of communication with the board. They would tell me what I need to know. Do I fear their answers? Would they have warned me of this threat? I didn't see it coming. A traitor in our midst. A conspiracy plotted right behind me. I can't trust anyone. I must assume all my intel has been manipulated. The hotline is the only channel I can trust. Bind it. Control it. The rule and the ritual with objects of power. It can't be tampered with. The lifeline to the astral plane and the board. Yes, I banana phone. Guidance. Soon. I'll rest first. I'm so tired. I'm always tired now. But I must reach the hotline. I think I'm under attack. An attack of dementia. Exhaustion. It's a brain cloud making me forget. The hotline. I must reach the hotline. Ring ding dong. Ring a ding 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 dong. Yeah, I, I, I get you there, missiles. <laughs> Banana phone. Banana phone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Keeping it light. I appreciate it. All right. So management team. About five more minutes before I end anyway. So figure we'll le listen to these. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. They have proven themselves. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. Okay, this is one we already the saw. The person you should fail is yourself. So I followed my own orders. North Moore hated my guts for that. But things change when you become director. You suddenly see this dark void for the horror show it truly is. Filled with screaming fear we pretend to control. Sand leaks through my fingers. The roses I pruned in the garden back when I still had a family. All dead. Heat escapes my body. My thoughts are scattered. The universe keeps expanding. And I can't keep up with it alone. Yeah. I forget that. Things go wrong. And my team has to pick up the pieces. Incredibly happy. Control to help me get out of my mess. Well, considering when we met him, he offed himself. I'm sure he was incredibly happy. All right. Ocean View Motel. Like I said, we get about, uh, we got about three more minutes before uh, this episode will end and we'll move on to the next one. So I figure we'll just watch the last three before we move on. He's like a huggable Lord Dooku. <laughs> okay. The Ocean View Motel and Casino is a familiar friend to me. I stayed in countless motels like it while investigating AWEs across the country. Back in my field agent days, those roadside motels all bleed together like a dream. Same and not the same. Anywhere and nowhere. The ocean view operates on dream logic, and the light switch cord leaks out to be found in the most unexpected places, and sometimes successfully encouraged to appear and act as a convenient lock to keep out those not trained in dreamscape navigation. Even Bureau veterans can only find one key in the motel. The key that opens the door marked with the inverted black pyramid. The rest, the many other doors, are still mysteries to us. We're all merely guests there. Even the board. Sometimes I need to visit just to breathe easier for a while. It beats the numb, sterile apartment I spend my nights in insulated from everything but myself. I guess that's where the whiskey comes in. Naughty, naughty missiles! Uh, no, uh, doing what, in fact? No, uh, uh clearly, 
being a good agent and driving to where they need to stop things and then going to bed and reading the scripture, yes. Uh, <laughs> hear me. All right, the coming storm. Something's coming. The whispers growing louder. The worst winter storm in Bureau history. A retribution for my sins. Our sins. This threat could destroy the Bureau. Everything I've built. Destroy me. A web spun, turning this place against me. I catch glimpses of it in the corner of my eye. It's just out of reach. Elusive. Clever. A perverse game of hide and seek. Is this part of the attack? Obfuscating the facts. Dimming my eyes. It's hard to tell. I need answers. I haven't heard back from Darling. I fear for my friend, my closest ally. I think we made a terrible mistake all those years ago. That thing he studies is putting us all in danger. It's my duty as director to keep the Bureau safe. It'll be difficult. What's done can't be undone. There's no easy fix. Magical thinking is a requirement for survival. Pain and suffering are mandatory. To change things, you have to break yourself. I don't know if I have the strength. Clear you didn't. I'm old and weak. I'm afraid. I can see my hands trembling. I'm losing control. This is the nicotine talking there. <laughs> Take a drink every time he says duty. Yeah. Uh. Alright. And the directorship. You are the director now. The exact independence. Dependence. Expect of your authority, chosen one. The bureau game needs you. The game needs you. Interesting. I want a recording of bedtime stories read in this happy, upbeat tone. Good night, moon. All right, there we go. So, all right, yeah. So we are at the forty-minute mark. I'm going to go ahead and close off the recording here. I take a brief five minute break. All right, folks, with that, we're going to go ahead and end out this episode. That is the end of that part of the recording of the stream. Again, we do hope to see you there while I'm playing live. It is every Monday from 7.30 p.m. until 10 o'clock p.m. Pacific time until I finish the game. Of course, if you like what you see here, do know that you can help me out tremendously by putting a like and a comment on this particular video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also make sure that you click that notification bell to get an update whenever a new video goes live. Beyond that, you can join me on my other platforms. Again, I am at Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash The Biscuit Eater. I'm also on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash The Biscuit Eater. And lastly, you can find me on Twitter at Biscuit Eater YT. But as always, I do hope that you had fun. I certainly did. And until we see each other next time, Come on, lovelies.